because of the disobedience of Adam and Eve. God created man so that the human can glorify God, so that all our works can give glory to our Father. That's why He made us in like in the likeness of His in His likeness and in His image. But because of sin that causes death, spiritually death. That's why in Isaiah 59, 1 to it says, The hands of the Lord is not too short to save us, or his ears that too dull that he could not hear us, but because of our iniquities, because of sin that separates us from the love of God, and he couldn't um, save us because the glory is away from us. And in John 14, 6 says, I, uh, Jesus Christ said, said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one can come to the Father except it through me. There's no other way that we can go back, we can reconnect it to our Father, or we can uh, ask for His glory, but only our Lord Jesus Christ. In John 3, 16, it says here for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have an everlasting life because that's the only solution that God can give us a new life through his son so the father he sacrificed his one and only son he gave it to us as a sacrifice as an atonement so that the blood of Christ will pay for all our sin and will cut the, the course of what Adam and Eve through Christ he fulfilled the law and through Christ when we believe and accept our Lord Jesus Christ our personal Savior he will give us a new life and he will save us and he says in for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes it's not whoever do good works or you are belong to this religion or to this group you will not perish but it's just said here that whosoever believes will not perish but have an everlasting life God only wanted us our, our faith our belief our trust as we surrender to him because Man separated from God because of the pride of life, the pride of man. So God wanted us to surrender ourselves, to bow down, and to give back all to our Lord Jesus Christ as we accept Him as our personal Savior, and He will forgive us, and He will give us a new life. And that is only the way that we can be part to His kingdom and that we can uh, connect again to the Father and He will give us a glory that comes from Him. It's not because we have a lot of money. It's not because uh, we have everything, but it's because we have nothing and we are all sinners. And God wanted us to surrender, to, to, to entrust to Him because there's nothing that we can do. Because we are spiritually dead. So the or in order for us to to be alive again is that just to accept and believe our Lord Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. And I assure you, He will give us a new life. Because there is power in the blood of Lord Jesus Christ who shed on the cross. And if you want to accept our Jesus Christ, I have a short prayer here I would like to uh, invite you to pray this prayer and make it a, a, a short personal prayer to God so I will lead you so wherever you are right now I just want you to encourage to, to pray this prayer you can follow me and make it a short personal prayer to the Lord I know that our God is listening and wherever you are because our God is powerful our God is everywhere 
and He can forgive all our sin. You can follow me in this short prayer. Dear Lord Jesus Christ, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. Thank you for your blood on the cross. I turn from my sins and I invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to surrender, trust, and follow you as my Lord and Savior. You may glorify to my life through the work of the Holy Spirit. Amen.